guys, welcome to our second video of the Virgate School's Eco Action. I am Miss Wilson, I am the Leader of Environment and Sustainability at Virgate. So today I'm going to talk to you about your first Eco Challenge at school today. Um, so the whole of this week you are being challenged to use a pencil rather than a pen in your lessons. Um, there's loads and loads of really good reasons why you should choose to use a pencil over a pen. I'm going to go through these uh, with you now. So first of all, pens are not recyclable. Now we do have a recycling scheme in school where you can put your pens in a pen pot. Here's a really good example okay, of one of the pen pots. This is Mr Hawks' tutor group, it's okay, and it'll give you house, uh, it goes towards house points. However, they are not recyclable. This is a special recycling scheme. Um, so they can't go in your general recycling. They can't go in the green bin, bins in school. This is because pens are made of mixed plastic. Um, so even like the ball pens that we use in school, um, this is not um, a plastic that can go in the recycling, so it has to be done in a special scheme, which means they can end up in landfill, which is a very, very bad thing, and they can take hundreds of years to biodegrade. Whereas a pencil, okay, it's made of wood, which is compostable, which means it can be gone within a year. So it doesn't even need to go in our green bins, it can go in the compost bin that we have in our food kitchen. So that is definitely a tip for the pencil. The second thing, ladies and gents, okay, is that the amount you can get out of a pen versus the amount you can get out of a pencil. So, in theory, I mean, I've not tested it, you're very welcome to have a go. Um, a pen will only go, uh, so the ink in a pen will only go between two and three kilometers if you were to draw a line continuously, whereas a pencil can go up to 56 worth of kilometers. So, the life of a pencil is a lot longer than the life of a pen in a classroom. And the third of all is uh, that if you break your pen in half, you get ink all over your hands. I get this at least once a day in school where someone's pen has exploded all over their mouth, all over their hands, and um, they have to leave a lesson. Whereas if my pencil were to break in two, I then have two things I can write with, and there's no disruption to your learning. So that's definitely a third tip for pencil. Um, Fourth tick, and this is more of an argument that you can make for your teachers to let you use a pen, uh, sorry, pencil even, is that you can't write on your hands. Um, so you come to lessons, I always see people drawing hands and names, and I love such and such on their hands, whereas with a pencil, you cannot do that. Okay, so that is definitely a, a tip for pencil, for me as a teacher anyway. And um, fifth is that um, pens can contain oil. So thinking about your life cycle of, of the planet and where oil comes from, that is a fossil fuel, whereas pencil does not contain that. So in terms of using up resources in the world, um, a pencil is definitely a better option um, for the planet as a whole. There's loads of other arguments that you can make in terms of using a pencil. Um, if it runs out, you just sharpen it, whereas a pen, if it runs out, you need to bin it. Um, you can also talk to your teachers about actually maybe I'm going to use a pen in the exam and I can use pencil in my book or in my rough book. It's not about making a big change, I'm not asking you to throw out your pencil case, uh, but I am asking you to think about the impacts that the things you have in school and um, how they impact the, the wider planet. So for example, what is inside your pencil case? So I've got an example pencil case here. Um, and the amount of plastic or single-use plastic in it is actually quite, quite big. So um, obviously you will need a calculator in school. Uh, but these are made of plastic. I've not found a wood or a metal calculator yet, okay? But this has only got one single life or one single use. Um, plastic rulers, plastic pens, okay? Biros of plastic and the different types of plastic to what is the uh, is the, the case compared to what the ink is in. And then you've also got, remember, got a metal nib, so that's mixed, so you can't take that metal out and put it in the recycling because that metal could, in theory, be recycled. The glue is plastic. Um, different types of pen, okay, your free pens that you get from the bank include, okay, again, they are plastic and metal mixed together, and I can't even pull this one apart, so even if I wanted to try and recycle it, I couldn't. Um, you've got um, picky pens, again, contain metal and different types of plastic, without separating them, you can't necessarily get them into the recycling. Um, and then uh, things like your sharpener, again, metal and plastic. So in theory, you should be able to recycle that bit of metal, but you need to take it out. And then that's taking a blade out, and we don't want you to take blades out in school. Um, so think about the big picture, about what is in your pencil case. 
Um, can you use a, a, a wooden pen? You can get wooden pens, you can get pens that are, uh, are encased in cardboard, which can be recycled. Um, what I have here, okay, these are all the pens that have been in the pen pot in the last term. Okay, we have now on a thousand, and this is just the amount of pens that have come in through the pen pot. So this is not including any pen that you've put in a bin or has exploded and gone in a different bin, or you've taken home or you've lost and it's ended up with the cleaners picking it up. This is just the ones that people have actively put in the pen pot. So if you think about the amount of time you put effort into putting into a pen pot, um, this I feel like doesn't reflect the amount of pens that we use in school. And this could be really, really easily reduced just by using a pencil instead of a pen all the time. I'm using a pencil this week. Um, I'm gonna try and use pencils in uh, all my marking and all my writing from now on. That means I've got some free clicky pens to give away uh, for those people who are making a considerable effort to use a pencil over the next week and for the foreseeable future. Um, in terms of being a teacher, I know I've already had people call me up going, but Mrs, you are using a pen. Now, I have nothing else I can use at the moment other than a pen to use on the whiteboard. Uh, we are looking into, or I'm looking into, and I know for a fact the job department are looking into getting refillable um, whiteboard pens, which means I would only have one case and I can refill that in. There are ideas out there about having a pen that can go in the compost, but at the moment they don't exist. But it's about those small steps. So my writing, I'm going to be using a pencil. However, I still have to use a, per, um, a board pen for writing on the whiteboard, and that's what I want you to do. I'm not asking you to bin your pencil case, I'm asking you to think this week how you can make a, a small step towards helping the planet, and that is using a pencil where you can. Uh, in your lessons, ask your teacher, can I use a pencil today? Or do I have to use a pen? If you're doing exam work, if you're doing some important work, or you're required to use a pen, don't argue. Just go, yeah, that's fine, I'll use a pen. Um, if, if you let me know I can use a pencil at certain points unless I miss that, I would also, I really like to do that. I would like to do uh, my action to help the planet. If you can do this, um, tell your teacher, you can get eco house points, so they're called eco action points, and they go towards your, um, the total house points that you earn. And I will be looking at who gets the most of those in the next few weeks to see who has been the most productive in terms of reducing their plastic in their pencil case and using a pencil where they can. Um, you'll have a new challenge next week and I'll talk to you about that then. Otherwise, like and subscribe ladies and gents, okay, share this video, um, let people know uh, what you are doing to help the planet.